Although the term crime fighting is usually reserved for superheroes, there are two construction sites in Tbilisi, Georgia, where U.S. Army Corps of Engineers officials are helping to do just that by managing the construction of a forensics lab and a police academy for the government of Georgia. The $1.3 million forensics lab refurbishment will help with the technical side of law enforcement, including lab space for ballistics testing, fingerprint filing, tire mark and footprint analysis, evidence storage, and a DNA facility like all those things from CSI. It is a major renovation of um, about half of the National Forensic Bureau of the Government of Georgia. And it's so much more important than just renovating a building <laughs> because um, Georgia is about to transition from a uh, Soviet-style um, judge-only trial system to a jury trial system. And in a jury trial system, as you know, you have to prove to a jury of your peers, uh, based on preponderance of evidence, um, that someone is guilty. And that evidence, Melina said, will be better discovered, analyzed, and stored, which by extension gives more credence to the rule of law thanks to these renovations. And if they're going to have a trial by jury system where people's life and freedom is on the line, then the role that evidence plays in that jury system is, is really critical. Although the sites are funded by the State Department's International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Program, the Army Corps plays a major role as well, overseeing the progress of the construction and ensuring the end user gets the best facility possible. I go to the site on a daily basis. Uh, checking on the quality control, um, making sure the contractor is proceeding according to schedule. The three-story and $1.6 million police academy will better link U.S. law enforcement entities and future criminal justice leadership in the country. And although the project suffered weather and redesign delays early on, the utilities are now in, making it on track to be the most modern police academy in the Caucasus by the end of the year. This project uh, in the beginning had a lot of customer requested and uh, end user changes. It had to totally redesign the structure to accommodate a, a facade, stone facade. Um, the final product will look, look very good, but it has uh, delayed the project. Right now, you have people that are not getting trained, and the ones that do come in for training, they are on their own. They are not provided any kind of allowance for a hotel, or the academy doesn't have a place to have them sleep. They have to stay with relatives, or find a friend, or sleep on somebody's couch. And again, if you have to do that, how focused can you be on your training and doing your job? Or maybe you just don't even want to bother to come to train because it's too much of a hassle. So um, this will really change all that and will really provide a new facility. Customer and end user are very happy with, with the progress so far. With better law enforcement facilities in place, the still nascent policing forces of this nation will soon be steady enough to properly prosecute the destabilizing criminal activities in the region. Only then can fragile new democracies like this one claim that their checkered past is truly history. Justin Ward, Army Corps of Engineers, Tbilisi, Georgia.